It's Coffee Talk. I'm Mark. <laughs> this is my partner, Kirsten. Hello. And you've just been watching the Gans. We have Joan and Gary Gand in our right here in our in house. In our brand new studio. Oh, in our, yes, in our, this is our office studio. studio. Yes. It's, yeah. it's uh, yeah. quite the environmentally correct studio. Too. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to any electricity at all to do this. What, no, what is this video we were watching here? Well, that's, uh, that's a video from one of our Chicago Women in the Blues shows. We've been doing those for seven years. And uh, we started this back when there were no Chicago Blues women being featured in any of the clubs or any of the shows. And as a way to help promote women like myself and the women in the show, that we play music too. It's not all just men. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> When it, and uh, when did that begin? When did this, this? So it was seven years ago. So what year would that be? 2010. 2010? Yeah, 2010. Right, and a sad thing happened. Coco right. Taylor passed away, and she was the queen of the blues, and everybody knew it. And a very large festival, which will remain nameless, in, <laughs> featured in Chicago that everybody goes to for free, had no response to that and they had no women on the bill and I turned to Joan and I said that doesn't seem right maybe you're the one to change that being a blues woman yourself wow. <laughs> so we talked about it and we said what could we do to rectify the situation to have sort of like a tribute show mm -hmm. to Coco Taylor and you know that's a blues word rectify yeah, <laughs> let's rectify this. It's got to rectify this situation. Uh, so we had, unfortunately, become experts in doing tribute shows. Yeah. yeah. Because a number of our friends had passed away over the years. Mm -hmm. We had just done one from Jimmy Rogers, who was our singer in our band Blue Road, and you guys knew. And so that, you know, it's a sad occasion, but... It ends up being a really great celebration and a great, you know, musical adventure to do something like that. Mm -hmm. So we thought, well, what if we did a tribute show to Coco Taylor and got 10 of the best blues divas in Chicago to come and do their Coco Taylor songs and remember, you know, remember her and her legacy and what she basically started in women's blues singing and what is carried on today as a tradition. Excellent so did idea. that start right after Coco Taylor died? You yeah. guys did yeah. that right after? Yeah, right, we right did. after. Because okay, we, we, we were waiting to see what the lineup was going to be at the uh, formerly mentioned Large Free right, Blues Festival right, in right. Chicago. Yeah. Uh, to, you know, to see what how they were going to handle it, and they didn't handle it at all. They really, you know, dropped the purse, as we say. God. And uh, you guys yes. say dropped the ball, but we say because it's, yeah. yeah. We understand so, <laughs> so, so, so we got some coverage, too, in the local papers and in the Chicago Sun-Times about it. Yeah. And in the article, they wrote, you know, the Chicago Blues Festival didn't feature any women this year, and Joan uh, Gann put this nice. together. And there you go. So yeah. that yeah. got out there. Yeah. So the great thing is, after that, the Chicago Blues Festival made a point of featuring nice. women. Nice. They didn't want to yes. mess up and do that again. Yeah. So we accomplished our goal Excellent. right away with the first one. Yeah. It was a big success. It was a lot of fun. And everybody said, you got to do this every year. Yeah. you got to do it every year. And we're like... Okay. You well, so. it was fun. We yeah. enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. And we were doing it at a club called Reggie's in mm -hmm. Chicago, mm -hmm. which uh, we had had a good relationship with Reggie's from the beginning, from when they opened. We used to play there and run a jam night there uh, every Wednesday mm -hmm. for many yeah. years. And in fact, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Mark was there right. uh, yeah. playing bass every Wednesday with us for how many years do you think we I did think that? We did Three that. or four? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we used to have a lot of the blues women would show up, and that's how we met a lot of them. Yeah. Was doing that, leading that jam where anybody could come sit in and sing or play or do whatever they wanted. We that was the so many great people. perfect location for people to come from the North Burbs or the yeah. South Side yeah. or yeah. people that live yeah. like right across the street there. You know, yeah. They all loved blues there. Yeah. yeah. And not to leave the men out of the situation, but right. there were a lot of great guys that came. To, uh, to play, and in fact, I think that's where we met Terrence O'Cannon for the first time. Oh, he used to yeah. come okay. there, and then uh, we got to be friends, and then he started coming up here to Highwood, 
and uh, playing at the jams up here yeah. in Highwood, and, mm -hmm. and now he's a big star, and yeah. we are we're excited for we're him. Excited <laughs> really for him because we yeah. knew him when. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's uh, so the so we got to see the whole scene uh, uh, expand from there. Uh, another unintended consequence of doing the uh, the first show was that at the time. Uh, a lot of the women had a hard time getting serious gigs at the blues clubs. There were only mm -hmm. a few blues clubs that would would uh, book women, and they would only book them, you know, in a limited capacity as singers or mm -hmm. as openers mm -hmm. in the afternoon mm -hmm. or you know mm -hmm. lunch time, you know, stuff like that. And now all of the the big clubs, uh, Buddy Guys especially, which is you know pr probably the best blues club in in the world. Um, mm -hmm has a lot of the gals that uh, that started out with us in the uh, women in the blues are, are regulars on the uh, uh, on their uh, on their schedule and so that's it's really great to see them uh, step up and, uh, yeah. uh, right. and great. give the gals a shot now uh, you guys are kind of uh, from the west now but you are <laughs> you are North the Shore west is North the Shore best. people yeah right. we are born and bred <laughs> yes. I was born in this town. <laughs> yeah, down, down, down. So it's exactly. very it's very appropriate that you guys will be um at our heading up uh well not heading up. You guys uh are in the heart uh, of the, the heart Saturday of the night of our North Shore Blues yeah. Fest yeah. that we're featuring live at two ten. Right. You're gonna be there June tenth. Right. Correct. That's going to be the so Saturday, awesome. Yep. Saturday night. Who yep. do you, who do you have on Who's Friday? On Friday we have uh, Lindsay Ellis. Lindsay, Lindsay. Lindsay. Well, yeah. we played. You know, Lindsay showed up to a lot of our shows, and uh, I he's think, he's terrific. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we're you know we're excited to be able to follow that with you know bringing a lot of performers from the city that don't normally perform up here. This mm -hmm. is the first time for many of them. Uh -huh. yeah. So this is going to be great having them here and having everybody up here get a chance to hear them. Yeah. I think they're going to yeah. love it. And They'll be fine. Be... It's safe. It's yeah. safe. <laughs> That's right. You can park anywhere. No, no. Your car won't get towed, don't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah wow. exactly. Well, you can't park you can't... the School of Rock yeah, anymore. You can't so. park oh, school yeah. Of rock oh, good to know. That's usually where I park. Okay. okay. Yeah, that, that, that just valet, it's just yeah, the valet is easier. The valet is easier. Yeah. Yeah. Good to do that. Yeah. And um, that's something you learn at the School of Rock, which is you do valet where, parking. Where to yeah. park? You know. <laughs> <laughs> you'll learn How to that find there. the stage. Right, so right. you guys don't just do this in Chicago, right? You do this in we're, California. Yeah, as well, we're yeah or? we're na we're nationwide. We okay. call. In fact, uh, uh, about a year and a half ago, we went down to Memphis oh, to nice. uh, represent Chicago in the uh, the big uh, blues contest down there. They had uh, bands from every state. Right, yeah. we played with Charlie Love, who's yeah. uh -huh. a fabulous yeah. blues yeah. singer yeah. from Chicago. One of the guys, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. and yeah. so we we play all over, but Chicago Women in the Blues is unique to Chicago. Okay, we have yeah. taken it on the road a little bit. We've gone to Cincinnati with it. Okay, uh, we've gone to Michigan with it. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll do some summer festivals yeah. with it, but Indiana. it is really about, about being the Chicago. in Chicago. Okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And you know, people from all over the country, if you say you're from South Bend, Indiana, or you're from uh, Union Pier, Michigan, they don't know what that is. Yeah. So you just say you're from, <laughs> from Chicago. Chicago. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, okay. right. That yeah, all works. No in okay. California, we have our own band out there called the Gan Band. Okay. And we are based in Palm Springs, California, mm -hmm. and that was a choice after 50 years of being in the snow and dragging our I'm amps and right keyboards through the you. snow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so oh, done with it's it. So, so done with it. Right. So, and and so Mark, Mark's nice. been out to play with us there too. Yes, yes. And, and we see yes. uh, Will. Not since he's been dating me. So well, that hasn't changed. So yeah, we're gonna have to do we'll that. To, yeah. Yeah. We're That's gonna have it. to get you guys we'll, out there. We'll ramp it up. Yes, the Wigglers have been also been trying to facilitate that. Yes. Right, That's true. right. Because yeah. I need to be dressed like Will when yeah. playing When you out. go out there. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, 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 the whole well, black thing is, you know. thing. have to go shopping. You, you, you <laughs> can see I got a little yellow going. I just yeah. can't, I can't help myself. Yeah. 
the <laughs> Chicago Women in the Blue show is one of the most colorful shows <laughs> yeah. you will see Indeed. as far as fashions. <laughs> Indeed, look at this. So yeah. we're looking at some lovely pictures of the lovely yeah. ladies. This yes, was, tell, well, tell us who these people are. Well, this, very sparkly, very flowery, very This year was leathery. red. Yeah. 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 Red, red so this is, this is the lineup for this year at 210. Okay. And if we Who's go this? Left, left to right, left to right uh, on the left is Donna Harula. And Donna is a premier slide guitar player. And she also sings and also writes songs. And if you don't know what slide no. is, it's not baseball. <laughs> <laughs> it was a technique where you take your little finger and in the old days you would take a wine bottle and there were lots of wine bottles <laughs> and you would break the top off of it and put it on your finger and you would slide around. And the, the main proponent of that these days is uh, Derek Trucks who plays uh, with Susan okay. Tedeschi. That okay. sound that he gets, it sounds yeah. kind of like a sitar slinking yeah. around, that's yeah. slide guitar. Yeah. And of course he inherited that uh, sound from his uh, godfather who was Dwayne Allman of the Allman Brothers because his uncle was the drummer in the Allman Brothers. So the whole slide thing, it's kind of a thing that some people do on the side. Uh, Johnny Winter would play one song a night where he would play slide. Muddy Waters would put his slide on and play a number every night. But Donna has grabbed this thing and she just plays slide all night long and she's really awesome. She teaches slide classes at the Old Town School and she is uh, probably the foremost authority of, on slide these days. Does she do slide with regular tuning or does no. every guitar she's playing is in a slide Yeah, that, and that's one of the reasons she has so many guitars because the way you do it is you tune your free lesson here. Mm -hmm. you, you tune your guitar to what they call open tuning which means it's tuned to a chord so when you strum the strings you get a chord as if your hand was on there playing a chord and then you move the bar around to change the key signature of that chord. Uh, one of the guys that's popular is a, a cat from Louisiana called Sonny Landreth and he has six different guitars and six different tunings and he even oh, does wow. minor tunings. Mm. He does wow. all kinds of stuff. So Donna does the same kind of thing where she has different tunings on different guitars. And she also has different kinds of guitars. She has electric guitar, she has a metal body guitar, uh, which is called the National Steel Guitar. She has one of those. All right, and Dave it, Dave Rappaport, there will be a quiz on how yes, many tunings exactly. did Donna use on right, Saturday. Right. I, think, <laughs> I think she's doing three songs, so we're going to keep her down to three tunings. But is, uh, also thinking of female blues singers who play slide guitar, Bonnie Raitt. Oh, sure. oh yeah. yeah. So for yeah, the Bonnie yeah. Raitt yeah. fans out yeah. there, yeah. they're going to yeah. love Donna. Donna. Yeah, and she's Bonnie plays amazing. slide all the time. Yeah. So, and then amazing. who's the lady next to Donna? Okay, that's Ms. Trish. Mm -hmm. And Miss Trish is new to the show this year, and she ref she was referred to us by one of the other singers, and her the big exciting claim to fame is she auditioned for The Voice and she made it to the blind auditions mm -hmm. to the final, and then she was you know eliminated at that point, but she made it quite far in the process. She's got an amazing voice, as you can guess. Uh -huh. She also looks pretty great, and she's going to bring just sort of a new vibe to the show. She's kind of specializes in Aretha Franklin style oh, nice. singing. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. They like that at, uh, yeah. at yeah. our, at our, in our up in our neck of the woods. Yeah. 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 And you yeah. know, Aretha, Aretha yeah, started she's... out, she's a preacher's daughter, so she started out as a gospel singer. And gospel is is a cousin to the blues. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, you know, it's basically if you take the blues into church, you get gospel. And she was a gospel singer and then she became this monstrous uh, soul singer and then a pop singer after that so you can kind of uh you know it's so it's easy to justify yeah. having a, some aretha in our show mm -hmm. right and then the lady next to her is the lovely and fabulous joan gann that's right. me yeah. yeah that's me so <laughs> i will be playing keyboards in, in the band and saturday you'll be I mean, reuniting with your a100 yes yeah. i'm so excited my hammond a100 now lives at 210 <laughs> in its permanent new home and I will be playing the big old Hammond, which will be really fun. Oh, cool. Uh, plus, you know, my I just play piano, bluesy piano on a keyboard. And 
sort of the musical director of the show, and I'm the wrangler. Mm -hmm. I make sure that everybody gets there. Yeah. And so how is that, wrangling all these women? That's got to be a blast. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah it a is. A blast like this. <laughs> yes, it is. Keep your elbow up. Um, it's, it's a challenge. It yeah, definitely is. I'm it's sure. a challenge, and yeah. it's it's a challenge with any show with that many musicians yeah. in it, as, as you both know. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's a lot of fun. But the thing that's the thing that's really made it easier, actually, is Facebook, because yeah, Facebook yeah. has made it so easy to get in touch with people when you don't have their phone number yeah. because mm -hmm. they changed yeah. it and they didn't tell you yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. pretty much, you know, everyone's on Facebook, so I can find them. I can communicate. We do a lot and of. And you Facebook can't just messages. jump out of Facebook; people will still find you. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> that's right. So Big brother. <laughs> we we text, we Facebook, we call, we do everything to stay in touch yeah. and communicate and make sure we're all on the same page. We usually have a theme color, you know, that we wear, and so we're always oh, talking about I'm that. <laughs> and oh, that's, uh, that's, be a surprise. Surprise. that's a surprise. That's a surprise. Surprise. Yep. 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 All right. It's always a surprise. It's we not just anything we're know. wearing yep. today. Oh, right. <laughs> you never know. Never know. Um, all right. And then next to you, we have? Uh, we have Tracy Adams. Okay. And Tracy has been with the show for quite a while. And she, uh, she's she been featured in a number of videos, actually, done by you guys over the years, who you've been uh, kind nice. enough to yeah, come out to is. our shows and, and capture some of the magic and... It's just a show that you have to experience, you know, and to know how amazing it is. So here's Tracy. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, she That's is really quite great. a, uh, a showstopper. No and doubt. She told me that she does work out three days a week. Yeah. So, you, you know, you have yeah. to train for this. That's thing. right. It's, yeah. You know, it's, it's, you need stamina. We're up there for a long time, but she's uh, she can shake it like nobody's business. Can tell you. <laughs> Tracy also told me, I asked her where she gets her clothes because they're, every time she wears a different outfit and they're fabulous, she gets them made. Uh -huh. She designs all of her outfits and gets them made just for her and just for the show yeah. many yes. times. It works, Tracy. It does Keep work. going. Yeah, yeah. 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 It works absolutely. It works really well, Tracy. It does. It and does. next to Tracy, we have... We have Countess Williams. Okay. We call her the Countess. Mm -hmm. And she is uh, indescribable. <laughs> I, I've got to say, she's one of the most unique performers we have with us. Oh, I'm going to tell you, there's, there's four letters that describe her. Which is S E X Y. Oh yeah, she is something else, and this she stands true. right next to me, and we have a good old time. <laughs> all, all she the... knows who I'm married to, so it's all, <laughs> it's all in good fun. But they all have a good time with Gary, it's, and it's, uh, it's all in good fun. fun I gotta but tell you, you he know. likes he likes so the comedy. So Gary's not at all sad that it's all women no, on stage. <laughs> no, I got the best beat. You know, spot in the you house. Do. I get to yeah, stand behind him. Yeah. And you know the the you know the blues gals look at Connors there. Yeah, she's yeah. she's looking good. And uh, then we have the blues gals lead the band with their butt. <laughs> you know, if you're I've a musician, seen that. yeah, I have yeah. seen that yeah. happen. Yeah. Yes. So we're all I've back there, that. and you know, we're, I mean, we're looking there, but there's a purpose to it. Because <laughs> that's, that's where you get your count. That's where the breaks are. It's the downbeat. It's, it's the, the downbeat. It's yeah, yeah it's all of that stuff. Right. I mean, there's a whole language going on back there uh, <laughs> that we all have studied for uh, as much as we can, as, yes, <laughs> as much as often as possible. That's right. And then repeat, we have our lovely repeat Liz. Offenders. Liz Mandeville. Liz Mandeville, not unfamiliar to the uh, the stage at 210. Yeah, yeah. right, yeah. right. Yeah. She's a powerhouse. And to the North Shore. And to the North Shore. As a matter of fact, she's a bit of a poster child. She is. Uh, she's, she's made our poster. This, yes. Yes. this is great. actually that's, Liz Mandeville. That's, 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 yes, yeah. yeah. that's adapted from... In, in blue instead of her usual red. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's her, just sprinkles. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Liz is cool. And who's the last one was... Uh, that's Dia. Dia. Oh, Dia. Dia. Dia Madden. Dia Madden, Madden, right. 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 Yeah. Dia Madden uh, was a singer with our band Blue Road for many years. Mm -hmm. uh, and she is a Chicago area singer. She's been in a number of bands. She was and still is in a girl band called the Legacy Girls. Uh -huh. And they do all of the three part harmony 
songs oh. from back in the day, starting Andrew with sisters. the Andrews sisters oh. and wow. working their way forward. I have forward. not seen that. Yeah. Oh, they're amazing. Either. Yeah, if you like Poodle Skirts. Yeah, yeah. They do, a lot they of pink. Do a whole, That's awesome. A lot of pink. I've never, yeah, I would not mm-hmm. have pictured that. That's. Yeah. I know this is because more, yeah. she is a sultry yeah. blues singer, very yeah. sultry, great sort of Susan Tedeschi mode, um, just wonderful. And so we're. And she also uh, made an appearance on All Star Jam Night last summer. Right. Oh, yeah. right, yeah. right. She yeah. did, which was very fun. And she mm-hmm. plays guitar and bass also. Yeah, she might nice. play a little bass for us that night. We'll tiny see. Bass. But I have mm-hmm. uh, a couple of additions to the show. One that you know about, and one that you don't even know about that okay. just happened too that I want to mention. Who's and the one we do we're going to go about. back to Liz Mandeville later too and show a video of hers, right? Okay, yeah. okay yeah. good, because yeah. I want people to know about her. Yeah, Liz is. So we are adding two female instrumentalists. One of them is a harmonica player named Indiara. Yes. And Indiara is Brazilian. And she Indiara's is in Chicago. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And she is amazing. Yes. I just yeah, found out true. about her. I don't know how long she's here. We communicated on Facebook. We haven't even actually talked on the phone yet. But her English is... You know, not great, but she managed to communicate with me well enough to put her in the show. Oh, that's and there cool. she is. That's how live it's going to be. Oh, yeah. 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 This will be go. the first time she's played with us. Uh, but the magic of YouTube, she can go look at our videos and she can pick yep. up on things. And I, I heard her play and I read about her and I just know how, how great of an addition she's going to be because oh, she's awesome. very well schooled. She's mm-hmm. studied and played in an all harmonica band in Brazil. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So like 25 harmonica players. And cool. Brazilian musicians in general are are cut above. I mean, mm-hmm. it's just it's just one of those things, you know. Uh, and pe- they also have that butt thing going on. Oh, too. yeah, boy. Yeah, I'm <laughs> totally, sure she yeah. does. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Check okay. with me. After <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Gary. Calm down. <laughs> So we're excited to have her in the show, and and our regular harmonica player who's been in all the shows, Blake. Yes. He will also be there, so don't okay. worry that he's yeah. going to be there. All you Blake Wallerman fans. Blake That's Wallerman. right. Because right. be Blake He'll Wallerman still will be still there. be there. Right. But as he said, he's looking forward to just sitting back a little bit and listening to her, because she's quite special and quite a bit different than um, your Here's typical Blake. you know, blues harmonica player. She yeah. adds a lot of... Classical oh, elements, that's going to be fun. I can't yeah. wait to see that. Yeah. It, it always good. feels like now it's a party when Blake walks in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yes. you get that feeling? Absolutely. It's like, he might it just, he, some, some shows, he just goes up there and blows for part of a song, and like, that's plenty. And it's <laughs> like, just him working the room is, you yeah. know, is the party. So. He has great energy. Yeah. Great energy. Looking forward to seeing Right, him. and you know the bar will be making money. Yeah. With, yeah. yeah. When, when Blake's, right. when Blake's right. in there, he always brings a posse. That's too. right. So one of the women... There was a woman that we um, will be featuring at Reggie's the night before when we do the show Down on the South Side, Mm -hmm. which is so great that people get a chance to hear it in two places this year, Um, Ivy Ford. Oh, yes. And Ivy Ford is no stranger to 210. Oh, no. She's a fantastic performer, and she is not able to make this Saturday night show, unfortunately. Mm. So I've been scratching my head, what are we gonna do? Well, I play left-hand bass. So I was planning to play left-hand bass for most of the show, have Mark sit in on bass, which we still will do, have Dia play a little bass, but all of a sudden, Mm. divine inspiration came through and I found out that Heather Tackett, who is this amazing blues bass player, just moved to Chicago. Uh So she's here in town, she plays some very unique looking basses too, mm-hmm. so I think everybody's gonna enjoy. I can't wait to see what bass she brings. But she is going to come and play bass on the show as well. So Heather, Heather Tackett, Tackett is gonna be Paul here. Duto? Yeah, there she is. Yeah. That's her. Yeah, right. there she is. She uh, plays with a, a band and a guy called Super Chicken. And huh. Super Chicken is from Clarksdale, Mississippi, and quite known in the blues world. And mm-hmm. she's been his bass player for a long time. We what actually played uh, played with them at Blues Fest. They played right after yeah. we played. Right. We played with Charlie Love at the Chicago Blues Festival, and then Super Chicken played next. And we got a chance to see Heather. And then we both played with Liz Mandeville at mm-hmm. Legends. Mm-hmm. And 
Heather came and sat in oh, and played cool. a few oh, songs nice. there. Yeah. That's lovely. So it's going to be really fun to have her in the show as well. And, and uh, uh, another woman that we haven't mentioned yet that's going to be showing up is Rochelle Koba. How do you spell that? That's R-A-C-H-E-L-L-E and Koba, C-O-B-A. And Rochelle is a guitar player and vocalist. Uh, she is currently based, I believe, in Florida, but she played on Liz Mandeville's recent CD. Is that is yes, Rochelle? Yes, that's Rochelle. Oh, okay. And I also played on Liz's recent CD, mm -hmm. and so did Jeannie Tanner on trumpet, who's going to be in our Friday night show. Uh -huh. And so I was thinking, well, who else played on Liz's CD, and who is a woman, who we could... Yeah. And so I got in touch with Rochelle. Mm -hmm. She said, oh, I'm not going to be in Chicago. Well, this week she texted me and she said, I am going to be in Chicago. Oh, good. So I said, come on over. Oh, She's a great guitar player. Oh, cool. Really this great. Really and vocalist cool and songwriter. So, wow. It's going to wow. be. Wow, there's going to be so much. It's so much really going awesome. on. I know. It's going to be jam-packed. So Do people you get really. get back to the Liz video? Good. Yeah, well, we can take it out. Okay. Oh, okay. We can, right. We'll we'll let Liz take us home. Okay. <laughs> that sounds great. We, She's good at that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so, and then what do you guys do once you make it through Blues Fest weekend? Ha <laughs> Yeah. After <laughs> after that, we have a day of rest for sure. <laughs> but we're going right on to our next incarnation, as the Shadows of Night. Oh, really? Yeah. We'll be playing with Jimmy Sons at Reggie's. Really? And they're doing a big Shadows of Night show there, and Gary and I will be part of that band. Are you doing the big room over there? Uh, we're do Now we're doing the, the music the joint. Room. Okay. Wow. And actually where Chicago Women in the Blues is also this year. Uh -huh. The music joint has grown quite a bit. Yeah, they got an array system. And yes. And yeah, it's, it and says it's, the, sometimes they change the seating for to make it. They do. They put in more seating, and yeah. it is drawing some amazing talent there. We've been going to see a lot of jazz artists there. Yeah, I mean, just a yeah. whole. Yeah, yeah. I saw Scott Henderson. We saw Brian Auger. Uh, Travis Carlton was playing bass. So they've got, uh, gotten very eclectic, and they're yeah. really utilizing the music joint. So we're going to be in there two weeks in a row. Second week with the Shadows of Night and Jimmy Sons Very and Rachel cool. and the yeah. You know, That's those really guys awesome. at Reggie's are so cool. We were just down there for a meeting, and they talked about how it's nobody is planning on getting rich here. We're, we yeah. all love music, and they love sports there. And yeah, they, they do. do. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. from the top down to every employee. It's you cultural. Just, you, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it is culture. a real... That is their corporate culture, yeah. and it is it is really effective. It, it, mm -hmm. And it kind of reminds me of uh, when I went out to San Francisco in the summer of love. I was a kid, but I got my parents to take us there. We actually played a gig at Berkeley. We played at the Berkeley Folk Festival. <laughs> cool. And I said to my dad, I want to go to the Fillmore. I want to take me to the Fillmore. I want to see bands. So we went to the Fillmore, and we saw this brand new band called Fleetwood Mac. Oh. <laughs> Peter Green, Jeremy Spencer, Danny Kerwin, you know, the three guitar band. And that, that was pretty great. And then there was this, they, they were the opener. The, and then they had an unknown band uh, playing the middle slot called Ten Years After. This was a year before Woodstock, before anybody knew about Elvin Lee and going home mm. and all that. And then the headliner was Paul Butterfield, which, of course, we can see any day of the week here in Chicago. But... Where I'm going with it was the culture at the time. It was the summer of love. It was Hate Ashbury with that whole thing, and there was just this, you know, this vibe. And when we go to Reggie's, I tell you, that vibe is still alive down there. I mean, yeah. everybody there has got it just literally tattooed. Yeah, it's a little more ink than in the '60s. <laughs> yeah, but, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But it's it's a scene, and it's a, it's a great culture, and they've really got a, you know, a, uh, a thing going on. Yeah, you, know. you can't walk in and out of that premises without learning something new about music yeah just looking at the walls you know the, right. there's the stuff walls, everywhere the tables with the, all the ticket stubs the menus inside the albums yeah yeah what's an album right, right, right. <laughs> they 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 are fantastic yeah, there and it does it trickles all the way down and, and so and we you know and rob it, rob is the king you know yeah. he's up there and he's the most enthusiastic guy you'll ever meet he just loves rock and roll right what an awesome twofer for Reggie's to have you guys bring two completely yeah. different shows mm -hmm. like that right. and uh, hopefully get some real traction from all of this work you guys yeah. are doing. We're so psyched that it's worked out. You can come into our backyard at 210. It's um, 
it's going to be the North Shore you're Blues right. Fest, isn't you're it? Right. You know? Yeah, we're psyched <laughs> that you're doing it, and we've seen 210 grow from just, you know, the, the initial sort of skeleton idea into this amazing venue. And from what I can tell, keeping up with you guys, <laughs> it's it's become the place to go on the yeah. North Shore. It is. Which we needed that. Yeah. We yeah. needed that. We didn't yeah. have anything like that. Yes. It is cool. Kudos to uh, all the folks that helped put that together. There. Definitely. And, and so we're just happy to be involved and be able to come back to town to then jump in and, and do something great at 210, which we played at when they very first opened. That's right. And so tickets are available online. You can save some money if you go to... Um, Go to the 210 website or Facebook page. It will link you to, or yeah, you go right. to the Chicago Women in Blues. Mm -hmm. That'll right. link you right there, too. It'll link you to Eventbrite. Yeah. Yeah, advanced tickets saves you some money. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tickets at the door are more expensive. That's right. But we have them. <laughs> we'll have them. Yeah. We'll, yeah, and we'll the fit food you in. is great. I can't stress that enough. Yes, get an Eat early foodies, reservation. Get an early reservation. Eat. Mm -hmm. And there's a dance floor for yeah. people who love to dance. Yes, the it's early birds, all. they get... They get the great table that's right by the dance floor right. and the best and the great sound dinner, and yep, all and that. Great yeah. Sound, yep. So the yep. everybody, yeah. Right, and you and you enter yourself into the lottery to get picked on by the blues women. <laughs> <laughs> if you're into yeah. that kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> well, we are so excited, and thanks for coming to do coffee talk with us. We're gonna let. Liz Mandeville herself take us out and there oh there's Gary thanks a lot for okay yeah, thanks Randy.